Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is back to school. Well, I feel like I never left, which I really didn't. I can talk about that another time. But for the majority of people, they're getting ready to start fall semester. This is going to be my third semester in nursing school. And I'm so excited to make some more videos for you about my nursing school journey. I've got a lot of catch up to do. I know, I know, I know. We're moving, we're getting married, and it's third semester. It's midnight currently. I just got out of work, so I'm about to head home, shower, and kind of get myself together because I work tomorrow morning at 11. Um, it's only a four hour shift, like four and a half hours. So by 3.30, I'll be at school, kind of getting myself together. But I will show you what I pack in my bag. But for now, I am going to go ahead and head home, shower. Number one most important thing for me to get a good night's sleep the night before school. Anxiety is always hitting. It's time to find some ways to relax. So if that's watching a movie, taking a bubble bath, if you're into that kind of a thing, for me, it's just a nice hot shower. Then, you know, off to bed with my puppies and getting ready for the next day. Going in tired to the first day of school, which I have done many times in my teaching career, college, high school, and nursing school too. Going in tired the first day is a much bigger challenge than coming in well rested. So find some ways to just chill out and I will see you all in the morning. Happy start of the semester, everybody. I'm a third semester nursing student and I'm just sharing my journey. I'm actually on my way to work right now. I'm working a four and a half hour shift before classes start. I had planned to do like a what's in my bag for the first day of school, but I'm gonna have to show you that later because I'm running late to work, but I will catch up with you very soon. So it's a new semester. I'm just sitting on my couch, kind of getting all of my binders together here. This is how I personally really like to organize all my nursing school materials. I prefer a binder method and I just use dividers that um, I found on Amazon. I love them. They're super cute. What I found have worked for me is in the very front, I put my syllabus. So not even in a section, syllabus goes first. I kind of covered up some like more personal information up top. So don't worry about that. But the syllabus is always something that you should really be looking at frequently because this is where everything for your course is. The syllabus is key, okay? So that's why I put mine in the front. And if I just flip through, you know, it has like our course um, outline, assignments, class topics, our grades, um, policies, things like that, explaining upcoming assignments and things. Look at how cute these dividers are. I like to have a binder per class. It helps me to keep all of the information I have separate and organized. Otherwise, it just gets too cluttered. So again, I just covered up some more personal information up here, but syllabus goes in the front uh, and it has everything broken down, a required text, assignments, readings, I make notes in there, grades, all of that good stuff. Look at how cute this is. Love it. Love these dividers. I'll definitely link them down below. Then in the next section, we have our topical objectives. For this one, um, this is, our concept is family dynamics and we have exemplars followed by our objectives, our readings that are required, goes on and on in there. And then in the third section, we have our class PowerPoints and I like to print them to, to a page so that there's plenty of room. I'll try to print everything for the week the first night of classes of that week, then I don't have to be running back and forth to the printer. And in my school, our printers don't always wanna cooperate with us. So this helps me not stress about it later in the week, especially when I'm tired after having two days of clinical. So in this next section, here's, hello. Okay, we'll just. So in this next section, I have papers or things like that aren't necessarily a PowerPoint. It could be an in-class activity. It could be a study guide. This is a case study that we were given that we can work on on our own. And then my professors will usually post the answers right before a test. So we have the opportunity to do them ourselves and study. Sorry, my camera is so uh, shaky right now. I'm holding it and my dog is in my lap. 
yeah he decided that was where he wanted to be and then this is again oh one of my professors actually gave us a guided reading uh template so things for her section that she wanted us to focus on in the reading which i love that's super helpful this is the first professor who's given me something like this so I can imagine it's not something that people would expect to have in nursing school like I had things like this maybe in high school and then I'll usually stick some uh scrap paper in the back there but those take care of my binders the next part of organization for me is going to be assembling my calendar and my planner and that way I have everything laid out and let me show you what else i have so i always keep my agenda with me this is an erin condren agenda which honestly i love it but because there is so much going on in nursing school like readings and assignments tests validations clinicals changing clinical sites things like that I actually don't think this one is big enough. So if you see, for example, this was a super light week. I organized it from morning, afternoon, evening. It's just not enough space. So let me see if I can find one that's a little busier. Like something like this. It just gets a little too cluttered. I think once I get a new planner like once it's time I might go for something just a little bit bigger I just need a little bit more space I also have this super cute pencil pouch one of my students actually gave this to me when I was leaving for nursing school I absolutely love it Mo likes it too and then obviously on the inside we have pens and highlighters and such. I love to have different color highlighters and I will I will talk more about these in a study video, um, like how I use my highlighters. I like to color code via highlighter. I love these pens. They're Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pens. They just write so smoothly. They feel great in your hand and the colors are super vibrant. So I have a 14 pack in here, which I love. This semester, I also carry my laptop with me. We have in-class assignments that we have to do, obviously in class that require a device. So I just have like some of my favorite things on here. Stickers, I love this case. It has a little bit of a crack on the side, but I'm just gonna pretend that's not there. These are after my dogs, Mo and Yusuke. No, literally Dunder Mifflin. And of course, Notre Dame. If you know, you know. So obviously I'll carry a charger just in case. And then finally, I also carry my stethoscope. I just got this cute little case on Amazon and I put my stethoscope in here. My bag will kind of change a little bit as I go to clinical, but I do bring it for lab. You know, you just never know. And I carry a manual cuff with me as well. We're supposed to have that. I also carry a notebook. So this is where I will write my topical objectives down and kind of organize my notes, as you can see. So this is newborn stuff. And yeah, I have a lot of other notes that I need to organize and go through. I was looking through my topical objectives and I started organizing the information from my newborn lecture. I can talk more about how I do that in another video. I always have gum. We are really in people's faces, even with masks. And let's say you have a spicy lunch or something that maybe you don't want to feel on your breath after you eat if you get to eat. It's always good to have gum, just in general. And then, and then, this is my tried and true bag balm. I love this stuff. My friend turned me on to it. It is one of the greatest lip balms I've ever had. And actually, I get super cracked fingers, um, particularly on my pointer fingers here, get really dry. So this stuff is fantastic. And if you've worked in a hospital or you've ever been in the hospital, they are so, so, so dry. So I literally just have this with me. I've got a nice big tub. I feel like I'll never run out. And I have that with me. So that is what I carry in my bag. What do you think, buddy? Do you approve? 
don't mind me. I know everything is a mess. We're currently moving. It is the worst possible time. So everything in my house is like a complete disaster area. So we're just not gonna look. We're just not gonna look, you know, just don't look, okay? So that is another reason why it's imperative for me to have everything hyper organized for school because everything in my home life right now is crazy man. You get so much information in nursing school and in order to process it all, you have to have an organizational system that works for you. So this is what works for me. I have friends in nursing school. Everything they do is completely online and that's fine. I'm a little bit old school. I kind of like to have things written down. It also helps me study that information when I write it down. So that's why I choose to do it that way. I tried first semester to use my iPad. I have an iPad Pro, which I do use this quite a bit for certain things, but I didn't like taking notes on it. I got a little too caught up in what my handwriting looked like on good notes on here. I can talk about what I do use this for another time. That's kind of all of my stuff and how I get organized. My first week back, my first couple of days back, I have a lot more videos planned on how I color code highlights, how I do my topical objectives, how I study, how I make graphic organizers. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I am a huge fan of graphic organizers when it comes to studying. So if you guys want to learn how I do them, I just do little charts like this. Sometimes I'll do charts like this. This helps me organize all of my information and study it and then it's all in one spot. So I'll kind of start with breaking down my topical objectives in my notebook and then I'll follow up study with organizers like this. So if you want to see a video like that, comment below. I'm not an artist but I have, if you guys are interested in seeing how I make graphic organizers and how I process the information to know what type of graphic organizer would work the best or kind of notes like these, then definitely comment down below. I'm really bad at outros. Please consider hitting that subscribe and like button. Also, if you comment, I try really hard to get back to you. Comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next time. Bye guys. Guys, we're back in school. Time to make more videos. No, Moe, you can't have the gum. <sighs> my goodness. I'm losing my stuff. I'm just struggling with my bag. Thank you so much for watching. Mo, do you approve? In hi, honey. Right now there's a dog toy in there. Anyways, oh my goodness, Momo going up okay let me try that again. so I think once You're not helping oh no. look at this cute little IV bag hi mom happy first day back to school oh.